Captain Brad Phillips has caught over 38,000 billfish, more than anybody alive. And you know, in bass fishing, a circle hook is not used very much at all, but in, in all kinds of bait fishing, a circle hook has become the hook to use. And Captain, it's a totally different way to fish a, a, a circle hook, and explain to us exactly why that happens. Yeah, most certainly, Jimmy. The circle hook, the point, sticks back in towards the shank, so we're not snagging the fish. The fish comes up, eats the bait, it chews on the bait. We've got to drop back to the fish. That's what we've been seeing here the last few days. When the fish bites, we've got to give it free spool. Her, give we it free let spool. it eat, let it eat as it would in nature. It sits there for about four seconds, chews the bait. We let it eat. Imagine this is the bill of the fish. This uh -huh. is the bottom jaw. You're looking at the right corner of the jaw. Fish comes up, eats the ballyhoo, we drop back to the fish. Eat the line. Yep, it's taking line, boat's still going forward. The fish chews on the bait, it swallows the bait, it closes the mouth. During this stage, we're doing what we call dropping back. But this is the art of angling. In other words, free spooling to the right. fish. It, that's why this fish. Loose line, we'd call it in bass fishing, the loose line technique. Exactly. Just like you'd be throwing a little live shiner or whatever it is to a bass, mm -hmm. you would probably loose line it. Right. There, there right. you go. We loose lining it for about a four count. At this stage, we just push the drag lever up. We slowly reel and watch what this hook does. Turns and sets in the corner of the mouth every time. And, and it's almost impossible for a fish to get off of that, to throw that hook. There's the beauty of it. Once that hook is in there, it ain't coming out. Even with slack line, look at that. Fish is jumping, yeah. throwing, it doesn't come what out. What happens if we set the hook like we normally do in bass fishing or crappie fishing or cat fishing, whatever? Now you got a problem. Set Th the hook. This is where the bass fisherman has a problem exactly. fishing with a J hook. He wants to jerk. <laughs> one jerk right. on one side and wait for, wait, a wait for a jerk on the other. <laughs> we yeah, won't say anything about what's happening on the other side. Exactly. But if you jerk here, the fish is going to feel this. It's going to open its mouth and boom, out comes the circle hook. So very important, we give the fish the four count to chew, to swallow, and now the fish is swimming away. We just slowly pull and look at that hook every time. That's the dynamic of the circle hook. Great for conservation. Corner of the mouth hook up, no damage to the fish. This is a little 7-0 eagle claw hook. Look how light right, that hook right. is. And we're we catching 160 pound fish on it. Exactly. That's the best explanation I've ever heard of a circle hook. I've used them all over the world. It's hard for a bass fisherman to do, but all you got to do is just wind it up and, and let the fish catch himself, basically. <laughs> Let's go fishing. Gotta love a circle hook. Gotta love Guatemala. Let's go use them. <laughs>